Hey, hey, what's going on, my friend? This is Christopher Harold, the Kingdom Market Superman himself, and welcome to episode 117 of the Kingdom Market Secrets Podcast. In this episode here, I'm going to share with you the daily habits that will radically change your life and those around you. Part one. It's about that time, and that's going yeah. down. And we ain't let nothing stop, it ain't no snowing uh, down. Now, it's Kingdom Market Secrets, and every uh -huh. single week. Yeah, yeah. I think it's finally time. I think it's time to flow. I think it's time to start this podcast so they can know the right tips and strategies that bring success. It calls heaven on earth and now a busy man. But this is all true because he changed the game. It brought the kingdom to every soul representing his name. Now position yourself in him to be blessed and bring heaven on earth in your busyness. It's about that time. Marketing Secrets, where you'll hear the best tips, tactics, and takeaways, and any other cool words starting with T, so you can advance your business online the kingdom way. Welcome your host, Christopher Harold. Hi, right, my friend. Welcome back. And I'm really excited to share today's episode with you, episode 117. Uh, once again, I am Christopher Harold, the best-selling author of Kingdom Affirmations, the founder of God's Masterpiece, and as you know, founder of this amazing Kingdom Market Secrets podcast as well. And this episode here, I'm going to share with you the daily habits that will radically change your life and those around you. And so this is going to be a, at least a three-part series. So, so I'm going to give you a couple chunks today. And, and, and this is inspired from a book that I've been, been reading called uh, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. It's a really powerful book by uh, Richard Carlson. So a powerful book. And I'm going to kind of put my own, uh, own, own twist on some of these things here that was mentioning and because I, I I wrote down some things on my notes and I was like these are the daily things that I want to do and, and I imagine be some daily things that you want to do see here's one thing I've discovered if you want to continue to grow and be more and more successful in your life and or business right if we are uh, uh, entrepreneurs it's so important to continue to grow Right. And you invest in your personal growth, your personal development, along with, you know, you should invest in mentors, training, program, community, maximize all that stuff, too. Right. That should be mandatory if you want to truly grow and have more people invest in your stuff. But also you have to continue to grow in yourself, because here's the deal. If you focus on yourself growing and not so much of pointing the other finger at other people about things other people might not be doing or, or other people may lacking, if you grow it's funny, everybody else around you would tend to grow as well, right? So so my focus always, it's always been, you know, I've been full-time since 2016, right? And my focus have all has always been on my personal development and growth. I never have got to the point where, where arrogance or pride put me to the place where I think I've arrived, right? And that's in the Word of God and also in my personal development and growth as a leader, as an entrepreneur, as a CEO, as a business owner as well, right? And personal development and growth is, is an ongoing process because if you're not growing, my friend, you are literally dying. All right. So let's dive into some of these really quick. And I'm giving you my own uh, take on some of these because I believe if you begin to practice these things, not not annually, not monthly, not weekly, but daily, I believe your life and everything around you will begin to radically change for you. First thing is tell one person something you like, admire, or appreciate about them. And these are daily habits. You know, I, I have other episodes on there that talk about your habits. Your habits are so important. What you do daily, right, is going what you, it's gonna what, what you manifest. It's, you don't get what you want. You don't get what you pray for. You get what your habits has produced, right? You get who you are, right? And so it takes about 40 days to create a new habit. But these are habits that, that you need to start doing now so you can see the fruit of these 90 days from now. Right. But tell one person, actually, you can see some of these earlier if you are consistent in what you're doing. 
but tell one person something you like, admire, or appreciate about them. What this does, and you know, when, when I think about this myself, what this does, it, it puts you into a mindset where your focus is not on you, right? And also what it does is it, uh, it forces you to look for the good in everyone. Listen, I know probably more than anybody. Once you run the business and you run a growing business, you tend to encounter a whole lot more people, right? And and with the growth that's happening, being part of our, 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 our master classes, our events, and part of God's masterpiece and rapid successes and everything else, I am exposed to a lot more people. And, and you can see flaws in a lot of other people, right? You can see areas where people need to do the same thing I'm sharing with you. Work on their personal development. Work on their personal growth, right? And you can see what people don't. But what this does, it, it doesn't, uh, it causes you not to focus on what people are lacking. It causes you to focus something good about them, right? There, so there's something you can appreciate about everyone, right? And it, 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 this can start in your household. This could start with extended family. This could be with, with clients. It, it, this could be with your team or staff, right, that you have in your company, right? So, but it's finding, tell, telling one person something you like, admire, or appreciate about them. That's a powerful habit that, well, uh, it's funny. You do these things. These things will always come back on you as well. So very interesting how that works out. So that's, that's what you want to do first thing, right? Another daily habit that you should do that will, that will begin to radically change your life and those around you is to spend a moment thinking of someone to love. Now you might be like, Chris, man, you're all into this, 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 uh, I'm trying to say without woo-woo stuff, but this, this, it sounds all soft, right? Well, that's your problem, right? That's your problem. If this sounds soft to you, that's your problem. One thing I have discovered in, in my, and you know, I've been at this entrepreneurship thing for a couple of decades, right? And I've invested in a lot of mentors, some good, some bad, some knew God, some didn't know God, some way out there on left field, some way down on right field, and all points in between, right? Is that I can remember one, one, one of the mentors, he was big on love, right? And, and, and his whole thing was, was waking up, you know, with this energy about yourself of love. You know, it's so easy in the world we live in to wake up hating. I mean, look look all around us. If you turn on the news, what is it? Hate. If you turn on CNN, what do they do? They hate Fox. You turn on Fox, what do they do? They hate CNN, right? So all around us, the media is glorifying hate, portraying hate. You, you see the news, it's hate, 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 right? So it's all division. All this stuff is all around us, right? How many of these folks wake up, could use this, and instead of waking up, finding people to fight with, finding people to argue. I mean, I know I can go post something on, on Facebook. I can go and run an ad. And it's always somebody hating being mean, right? And that shows more than about themselves, right? Flexion of themselves, what's going on with them. But if you could spend a moment thinking about, like, wake up and say, who can I love today? Who can I send love? Now, you could either contact the person directly or just something you do in your mind, right? That's that energy going out and say, so in the morning, who can I send love to today? Because see, we all need love, but very few of us are willing to accept that, right? Even the ones who lash out, even the ones who are mean, who are, who are angry. I, I, we see it all the time. We see people sitting there support tickets to our support team. And these are some mean, angry people. A lot of them say they love God and love Jesus, but you couldn't tell by their support tickets at all. <laughs> you couldn't tell, right? But these folks are hurting. These folks are lost. These folks are bitter. These folks are angry, right? So they need love. You know, and the word of God says what? Love covers a multitude of sins, right? Love covers all, right? And all your things and all your, you know, it's like love. You know, love is more important than prophecy. Love is more important than speaking in tongues, right? Paul talked about that in 1 Corinthians 13. The most important thing is love. So spend a moment, a minute or two, Every day, thinking of someone you can send love to. That's send us from love, right? And the third third daily habit, third thing is, and this is something too I had to challenge myself with, is choose being kind over being right. Mm. See, you and I have this tendency within us to always want to be right. And we could be right, right? But 
what I have grown at, and I thank God, right? I've, I've seen this progress myself with my team and our staff, right? I've seen it with, uh, with students. I've seen it with clients, right? That I know I'm right with something, right? But instead of me wanting to be right, you know, I, I choose to be happy, right? And so it's like, let me choose kindness. You know, Proverbs talked about that. It said, never let truth and kindness leave you, right? See, we can choose being kind. Right. We can choose to be happy instead of being right, because think about it. You can, you can have a discussion with your spouse. Right. And maybe she, you know, is 100 percent wrong about something or he is 100 percent wrong about something. And you know, they're wrong. But instead, instead of us beating them across the head, telling them, no, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. We can choose to be happy, choose to be kind. Right. If I mean, so. What it does, it creates a bigger picture mindset because we always want to be thinking about the bigger picture. Right. Ask yourself, is it truly worth it for me to be right and kind of put this person down and saying, I'm right. You're wrong. What do we truly win by that? Think about it. Right. By, by me proving that I'm right. I'm going to have to possibly put you down in a way or really challenge your intellect in, in a way. Right. And what do I truly gain from that? Right. Am I going to win you to me? Right. Probably not. So uh, I. This is something that has been big with me, especially dealing, you know, dealing with the growth of our company is be, be kind, choose to be happy instead of being right. Because, you know, uh, in the long run, it's going to work out better for everyone. And typically what happens, that person will, will kind of see what you was leading them toward anyway, be like, oh, my bad. I was wrong with this, you know, and you didn't have to point it out to them. You didn't have to tell them, no, you're wrong. I'm right. Right. You know, and, and kind of put it in a condescending way. So. These are powerful daily habits you want to get started. I got a whole lot more on my list here, but I'm going to save those for our, our next up, upcoming episodes. But if you find value from this episode here today, I want to know about it. I want you to post on my Instagram at Christopher underscore Harold. Tag this. Take a snapshot of this episode. Do, do a uh, tag and post on my Instagram at Christopher underscore Harold. Let me know what you find valuable. Or on our Facebook at Chris Harold page. Right? Take a snapshot and say, hey, episode 117. Uh, this is what I found valuable. Or if you're inside of our God's Masterpiece Academy group and on Facebook, you can post it in there as well. But I want to know what you find most valuable about today's episode, my friend. So hopefully you got value from this. If you truly want to grow your business and scale your business to six figures plus and you have a coaching, consulting, or expert business, there's a link in the chat. Feel free to, to, to click that link in the chat or go to godsmasterpieceacademy.com and follow the steps there, my friend, as well. So you, so you can do that right now. So, hey, I look forward to seeing you on the next ep episode, my friend. Remember this, keep God first in all that you do, and you too shall succeed. Peace and God bless. Thanks for listening to Kingdom Marketing Secrets. For more powerful resources to grow your business the kingdom way, go to kingdommarketingsecrets.com. If this podcast has impacted you, we ask you to subscribe, post a review, and share it with a friend. 